Sienna Miller was born in New York City but grew up in England as a child and seemingly considers both of these different parts of the world home. In the past, Sienna had owned a five-bedroom property in Northwest London, but around 2016, she would move back to New York, purchasing a three-floor apartment in Manhattan's West Village to call home with her daughter. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. English model, fashion designer, and world-renowned actress Sienna Miller has been a mainstay in the entertainment world since the early 2000s. It was then that she first made her her mark in photo spreads for Italian magazines including Vogue. By the next year, she was booking her first big film role in the film Layer Cake and appearing alongside her real-life former partner Jude Law in the hit movie Alfie. Bigger projects would follow as Sienna built up her estimated net worth to a stellar $18 million. In 2011, Sienna would spend a little over $3.3 million for a townhome in London, England. She'd call that place home for a handful of years before deciding to leave her long-time home of London behind to return to the country she was born in, the USA. Sienna would spend time in both a luxury Hamptons vacation mansion as well as her main home in the heart of New York City. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and in this one, we're checking out where Sienna Miller calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. After turning herself into a household name, Sienna Miller decided to reward her hard work with a spectacular five-bedroom home located in the northwest London neighborhood known as Queen's Park. Miller spent roughly $3.3 million on this multi-story townhouse in September 2011 and then began redecorating the home with the help of designers Matthew Williamson and Kelly Hoppin. Listing details and photos on this home are sparse, but what we know is this. The home is said to boast an airy kitchen with pendant lights and mellow wood floors. There's also reportedly a sitting room with some bright floral wallpaper as well as a cream-colored master bedroom suite. The really unusual thing about this place, however, is how quickly Sienna seemed to move on from it. After moving in 2011 and totally refashioning the place to suit her tastes, by 2014, Sienna was already listing the home once again and looking for $3.7 million. Unfortunately, no one bit. Thanks to Sienna's determination to leave London for the United States, she ultimately settled for renting this place out at the rate of around $2,400 a month. In 2018, she would list this home once again, but it's it's unclear if she's been able to move off of it since then. Regardless, that didn't stop Sienna from setting her master plan in motion and leaving the familiar confines of London for her original home of New York State. Sienna was originally born in New York City in December of 1981, but only 18 months later, she and her family would move to London, which she would call home for the next two decades. Upon her return to live in the US in 2016, one of the first places Sienna headed was on vacation. More specifically, she rented a gorgeous Sag Harbor estate. Located in the Hamptons, Sienna stayed here while attending a charity event for Animal Haven. While her stay might have been brief, I'm sure it was memorable. After all, this the property does boast 6,760 square feet of space and that's just the start. This 9 bedroom, 12 bathroom house is tucked behind private gates and includes some eye popping landscaping courtesy of Buttercup Design. Created by the world famous architect Peter Cook, the home also boasts double height floor to ceiling walls of glass that encase the rear of the home on all three levels of the property. Over on the main floor, the open plan arrangement consists of a living room with a marble fireplace, a chef's kitchen with a fleet of stainless steel appliances set beside white cabinets, and a dining room that extends all the way out to a covered patio. Also located on the first floor are two other smaller covered porches, the den, and one bedroom. Upstairs is the master bedroom with a private terrace all its own, as well as an ensuite with double vanity sinks and a soaking tub. Other amenities are said to include a climate controlled wine cellar, an all white media room, a two car garage, as well as detailing like European white oak floors and marble finishes. 
Out back, the moment is rounded out with an infinity pool and spa combo, a cabana, and most impressively, a gated stretch of beach all its own on Sag Harbor Bay. All right, now that we've seen inside that stunning vacation pad, let's take a look at Sienna's main home in New York City. When asked at the time by Vogue magazine why she decided to make the move from London to New York, Sienna told them, I'm excited about being here because I get to walk out of my place and have everything I could possibly need right in front of me. And the city is so vibrant and vivid and alive. And in London, I didn't seem to be as active as I am here. Originally, Sienna had hopes to find a decent sized home in Brooklyn for her and her daughter Marlo. Unfortunately, it wouldn't quite work out that way. Instead, Sienna found a three floor apartment in New York's West Village. Since buying her home in 2016, Sienna has kept its exact location and the details of its interior on the down low. The few details we do know about her home come largely from a handful of appearances that she attended virtually during the pandemic. So let's check them out. During an AFI Q&A, Sienna answered questions while seated in her living room. What's the first thing that strikes you out about this room? Well. Probably the fact that nearly everything in here is gray. The curtains, the walls, the throws, even the sofas are an off-white. The only pops of color come from a blue pillow and a red throw. Seems to me like Sienna really favors tranquil, calm, and muted tones. Next up, we've got her bedroom where she recently addressed an audience during the Forces of Fashion Summit. Notice the one constant? Yep, Sienna has once again decked out a room in nearly an all neutral color tone. There's even more gray up here, including the walls, the floor, her chest of drawers, and even her sheets are gray. One last detail that we can pick up from this image is that large vertical beam on the left hand side of her screen. This shows that Sienna's bed of choice is probably a modern take on a four poster bed. Finally, let's Let's head on into Sienna's family room where she once met with the folks at Hollywood Reporter. At this point, would it surprise you to discover that the gray palette is back? And while this room is most definitely as gray as all the rest, it does happen to feature a few more colors. For instance, there's a warm brown leather chair as well as a classy looking table lamp sitting on a fireplace mantle and some artwork hanging on the walls. Sienna also invited Vogue magazine to come into her home to show off a few more glimpses of the interior, including a truly gorgeous meditation space with a gigantic mandala in the background. As for her kitchen, well, it's definitely on the modest side. With all these neutral tones and calming spaces, Sienna must have one of the most relaxing homes in all of New York City. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this Sienna Miller house tour to a close. What do you think? Would you want to live in a home with such a singular color tone? How about Sienna's former homes? Do you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.